Hi guys, I hope you're well. So I'm back again with another food tour of a city and this time it's Glasgow, which prior to this video, I had never been to Glasgow. So all of these places were completely new to me. I had so many recommendations from friends as well as seeing things on Instagram, TikTok, and I literally was only there for two days, so I couldn't fit them all in. However, I will mention some of those recommendations throughout this video. Without further ado, let's get on with the food tour so you can see what I tried, what I thought, as well as hopefully it will give you some recommendations of places that you wanna try and some top tips of things when you're there. So let's get on with it. So if you don't already know, I am a big cookie fan. I love a big, chunky, gooey cookie. So before I went to Glasgow, I did some research and I had to find a place that specializes in cookies. I found actually so many different options. So I will list them here of all the places that I thought looked amazing, but obviously I only had time to choose one so i chose chulo's bakes which on the day that i was there had a pop-up stall at partick market however i just say go on their instagram and see where they're going to be next because i think it does vary they specialize in stuffed cookies which look absolutely insane so here is my reaction to what i chose okay so we took him to chulo's bakes which I'm so excited. We've got this s'mores one, which had like chocolate brownie in the middle. It's got a marshmallow. And I think I'm gonna try and break it for you. Let's see what's going on. Oh, it's quite hard. It's really hard. That's not what I expected. That looks good. It definitely doesn't appear to be like a gooey cookie, but that's not what they advertise themselves as. So I'm not gonna penalize them, but let's give it a try. It's good, it's really tasty, but oh, it's a bit marshmallow everywhere. <laughs> it's a bit hard, so it's not a gooey cookie, but I think it would be amazing if you want up the microwave, and that is pretty hefty. So as you can see, I did really like the cookie. Even though for some reason I was expecting it to be gooey, but now I think about it, it was outside, there was no access to kind of keeping it warm and it wasn't just fresh out the oven. Maybe it was made that day, but obviously it wasn't gonna be warm and gooey. It was just a really good cookie. Not a gooey cookie, but a really good cookie that was dense, so many textures, so many flavors, and I would definitely recommend trying them. Also, they were so, so nice, so friendly when they were describing all the flavors to me. It just seems like a really, really cute little bakery. So if you're in Glasgow and you love cookies, then give Chulos Bakes a try. And apologies if I'm saying that wrong, but it's spelt like chulos, chulos, chulos. So, anyway. so next up, I went to Sprig, which is a salad shop on Ingram Street, just opposite the Gallery of Modern Art. It's just a little grab and go salad shop where you can either get their set salad bowls or you can kind of build your own. They've got two sizes, so they've got a small and then they've got a lunch box, which is the one that I went for. And I'm not gonna lie, it was a really, really generous portion. So I went for the set bowl, which was the chili chicken bowl, which had all your usual salad components as well as a really nice basil pasta chili chicken and I loved the topping, the dressing, which was a chipotle honey. It was bursting with different flavours, it was really fresh, it filled me up, which is always a good plus point for a salad. Only thing is, obviously it is a grab and go place, so it would be perfect if you were like on a lunch break or something in Glasgow and you could just grab it and take it back to the office, or if it was a nice day and you could go take it outside to a park. But for me, it was literally raining on the day, so I struggled to find a place to eat it but that takes nothing away from the place because it was really yummy um, and like I say super fresh so next up I was really in the mood for pizza and I had been recommended a place called Pisano which has two locations in Glasgow one on Miller Street which is like in the center and then one in Glasgow's West End however we chose to go on a Saturday night in Glasgow and we chose the one that was in the center and we didn't have that much time and when we got there it was 
super busy so we couldn't go in because it's walk-ins only so you can't book i still want to include it in this video because so many people have recommended it to me it sounds like it's the most authentic traditional wood-fired pizza it looks amazing from their instagram so if you really want some pizza then i definitely give pisano a go um however either give yourself enough time or don't go at peak times so instead we went to franco manca which is a chain however i've actually never been to franco manca before and it is on mitchell street which is in the city center as well it is really lovely they do as well like wood fired pizzas however i made the wrong choice annoyingly i love normally just a ham and mushroom pizza and completely ignored the fact that on the menu it said little tomato i guess i kind of completely ignored but in my head i still think does that not mean cherry tomatoes but no it just meant that it had it was basically a white pizza that had a little bit of the tomato sauce on the top so it was definitely not the best pizza i've ever had however it was still really tasty and i also tried some of abby's my friend who just got a traditional ham pizza and that was really good so if you're just wanting a good pizza then franco manca is a very safe option um and i'm including it in this list because it was a lovely place great service and we easily walked in on a Saturday night which is always useful. Next up is one of my favourites on this Glasgow food tour which was the Brunch Club which is near Kelvin Grove Art Gallery and Museum and we went again at a peak time for brunch, we went on a Sunday lunchtime. So when we got there because it's walk only they said it would be about a 40 minute wait which was absolutely fine because it's in a nice area and on a nice day you could go around the Calvin Grove Park um, but we just had a little wander around because it was raining of course but eventually we got our table and it is such a nice place obviously the decorations and stuff are because it's Christmas however it is such a cool vibe and um, really modern but we were so in the mood for French toast we'd seen it on our Instagram it looked like the proper thick French toast that you want if you want French toast and they had a sweet option or a savoury option however both me and Abby don't really like Nutella so we swapped the Nutella for maple syrup so on our French toast we had berries granola and maple syrup and oh my goodness it was amazing I'm so excited for this it's so thick Warm. Mm, it tastes like pancakes. Mm. This is what I needed. Yeah, it's light, fluffy. Good shout about swapping the Nutella with the, Yeah. So good. So filling, which is what I always want in food. And it was just perfect definitely a great recommendation especially if say you've been on a night out the night before like we had it was amazing cured everything and the rest of the menu looked really really good as well so definitely a great brunch recommendation in my opinion this next and final one topped the list and that was sugo pasta which is in glasgow and that is also on mitchell street and oh my goodness it did not disappoint this one had come up on TikTok, on Instagram, and my friends that live in Glasgow had recommended it, and it was amazing. So obviously the vibe, as you can see, is really, really pretty, especially at Christmas. Um, we did try to go in here on the Saturday night as well. However, it is walking only, and they did have a bit of a wait time. So we thought we'd go back at lunchtime on a Monday, which was much easier to walk in. It's a very quick turnaround, so I don't think you be waiting for that long even if you did go on a saturday night they have a very short but 
beautiful and specially designed menu that only has 10 pasta dishes on it and then they also have some daily specials as well but all the pasta is homemade you can literally see the pasta being made in front of your eyes and all the dishes are very thought out so that they know how the pasta works with the sauce and the meat and everything and it's just so well done I went for number five is Parpadelli with slow cooked beef raju and I said yes to parmesan cheese on the top because why wouldn't you? Abby got number four which was the tagliatelle with mushrooms in brown butter with fresh sage and parmesan. Both of us were so so happy with our choices. Mine was so rich the beef was literally falling apart. That's exactly what I wanted it was a great portion we shared some of their white sourdough and balsamic vinegar which was very tasty um, and also great to kind of dip in with the pasta and to finish off we got Sugo's new addition to their dessert menu which was the New York cheesecake obviously you can get New York cheesecakes in a lot of places but this one was really really yummy um, and it came with some soft serve ice cream and some wafers and yeah i really enjoyed it and it just like completely satisfied me the service was really quick we had some wine it was such a nice vibe it's a nice date place it's a nice place for friends you could dress up and not to look too fancy but you could also go quite casual as well and not look out of place i would definitely recommend that and if you can then go at christmas time because it was beautiful in there so yes that is it for my glasgow food tour i hope that i'll be able to go to Glasgow again soon to try out more of the places that were on my list because I literally had so many. I will put my list that I had, obviously that was so unachievable for two days, but I'll put it here so you can kind of see what options we had and hopefully next time I go to Glasgow I can try some more of those. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was useful for you. Let me know if you've ever been to any of these places or what places you would recommend in Glasgow. If you enjoyed the video then make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because it genuinely really helps me out and I would love for you to join me on this journey of YouTube so thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one bye guys